Let's look at how we can install the Statistics Tool Pack in Excel. First of all, go to File, click Options, and then we are going to go to Add-ins. The Tool Pack is considered an add-in. It's part of the program that's not turned on normally, so we need to turn it on. So we click Add-ins. And then down at the bottom, it says Manage Excel Add-ins, and that's what we want to do. So we press Go, and it gives us some add-ins that are available. We want the Analysis Tool Pack. We don't need the Analysis Tool Pack with the Visual Basic uh, associated with it. We are, we're not going to be doing macros. We're just going to use the Tool Pack, so we press OK. Now that has installed it, and you can see where it is by going to Data. And then up here you have a new button on Excel called Data Analysis. And you only need to do this once. It's good forever. Um, and you can start using the Data Analysis Tool Pack, which we'll examine on how to do a little bit later. But to give you a little idea of what we can do, we can use most this Tool Pack for most of the statistics that uh, we'll do in an introductory uh, uh, course. We've got ANOVA, we've got correlation, descriptive statistics is probably what you want to start off with, um, a, bunch of, a bunch of things here. And we'll be using this tool pack that we can always find under data and then data analysis to be able to do calculations very quickly with Excel. Now at Azusa Pacific University, we have a tradition of linking the different things that we were studying with biblical concepts. Now we've just installed a tool pack for us to Excel. A tool pack is basically giving us a tool so that we can do something that we normally uh, couldn't or that we wouldn't be able to do with, without it. Now the Bible talks about kind of a similar concept in that when we come to God, when we but decide to follow him personally, he gives us his Holy Spirit and gifts that are associated with the Holy Spirit. In 1 Corinthians 12, 4 and 5, it says, there are different kinds of gifts, but the same Spirit distributes them. There are different kinds of service, but the same Lord. So when we become Christians, when we follow God, when we have God's Holy Spirit in us, he gives us gifts which may be based upon our natural abilities, our personality, our traits. They might be new abilities that we uh, uh, get. But he gives us gifts, whether it's encouragement or speaking or teaching or um, uh, serving others. He gives us gifts that correspond to our personality, our unique personality, so that we can serve him effectively. And that's how his community is made up with people that each have different tools enabling themselves to work together, each person using his tool to love one another as God has called us to love one another.